This is how to make the best Dutch apple pie. So first you're gonna preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you're gonna make a quick and easy pie crust. You can also get a pre-made pie crust, but I'm recommending that you make the quick and easy five ingredient homemade pie crust that's on my blog and I link to it in the blog post. It's made of just real butter and flour is super flaky, but yet it will hold the apples really well. There's just something about a pie crust made with butter. It just tastes so much better than those made with shortening. So anyway, as you bake the pie crust, you blind bake it, you'll start peeling, coring, and slicing the apples. Now, I got this apple slicer for about $12 on Amazon. It can peel potatoes and just and peaches. It's a great all-around peeler, corer, and slicer. And you can make it so that it just slices and it doesn't peel, or it just peels and it doesn't slice or core, you know. There's different options, so it's really handy to have around. If it stops peeling or anything, all you do is you put a little bit of pressure on the blade, which you can see me doing, and and that just helps it to peel nice and clean. So I'm doubling this pie. I'm making two of them, which is why you'll see that I have two bowls going on. But basically you want to have about two-thirds more Granny Smith than you do like a red sweeter apple. You kind of want the more Granny Smith tart apples because they add a really nice flavor to the apple pie, especially contrasted against the sugar. So you're gonna put um, your apple slices in a bowl and then you'll add the flour, the lemon juice, nutmeg, cinnamon, brown sugar, and white sugar. And using your hands or like some tongs if you don't wanna use clean hands, you'll wanna stir that really well. Then you'll set the bowl to the side because you want to give the apples at least 30 minutes to sweat off excess moisture so your pie is not overly soggy. And then while that sits to the side, you're going to make the, the topping. So the topping ingredients are brown sugar, flour, and butter. And... Um, Basically, you'll just use your hand or a pastry cutter to cut the butter into the flour and brown and white granulated sugar. And once that comes together, you'll set that to the side. Then you'll get your pre-baked pie crust and you'll tightly layer the apple slices, making sure not to add the juice that's gone to the bottom of the bowl. You can use the juice in the bottom of the bowl for like apple cider or whatnot, but I usually just toss it. So after you tightly layer the apple slices into your pre-baked pie crust, you're going to add the brown sugar topping. And so I just place that over and pack it in nicely. And then you're going to put a tin foil tent over the pie, making sure to cover the edges so they don't burn. And you'll bake this at 375 for 55 to 65 minutes. You want to be sure that the top is golden brown and the juices inside are bubbling up. And then you'll serve it warm with ice cream. To get the supply list, check out livelikeyourrich.com and in the search bar, search Dutch apple pie. Thanks.